Hey everyone, Daniel from TwinBytes with another tutorial for you and this time I'm going to show you how to check if you're an administrator in Windows 10 and how to change it two different ways if you're not. Click on the start button and then click your name and then you'll be able to select to change account settings. Here under your name you'll see it says local account and under that would say administrator if it was. It may not say local account, it may say Microsoft account, and either way, underneath it would say administrator, but this is where it says to sign in as a Microsoft account instead if you wanted to do that. But regardless, it's still gonna be an administrator. So let's go and change that setting. So we'll have to sign out of this account and then sign in as an administrator. Now that we're signed out of the user we want to change, we can sign in as this user, which we know is an administrator. Now that we're in as the administrator, we'll click the start button and then we can click the name and go to change account settings. There is another way of getting here as well, but this works. We can see that this account is the administrator. We want to go to other users here and find the user select them and then click the button to change account type. This is where you'll see a drop down menu of two options. You got standard user and administrator. So of course we'll choose the administrator and hit OK. And now they're an administrator and all we have to do is log into this account and log in as that user. So we can now log in as that user and check it out and make sure that they do have admin privileges. So again, we'll click the start button and then our name and change account settings. And you can see right here that we're an administrator. So what if we didn't have an administrator account? I'm gonna show you another way. So you wanna click into the search area or the start button and type CMD and you'll see the command prompt but don't left click on it. You're gonna wanna right click on it and choose run as administrator. Or over to the right side, you'll have an option to either open or run as administrator. So we're gonna need to run this as an administrator to have the permission to do what we're gonna do here. Now you're gonna wanna type in the following command, net user administrator space forward slash active colon yes and then just press enter and it should tell you that it successfully ran this so now we've just enabled the administrator account and all we have to do is log out of this account and log in as the administrator and now we can see that there's an administrator account that's available to us and there's no password for it by default. So we would just sign in and it's gonna run through the usual welcome messages. And now you have administrator access under your original account. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.